This is a uh, leather 4x4 coffee coaster that I uh, just hand carved spontaneously yesterday. It's so hot here in our town. Well, it's all hot throughout Texas, so uh, kind of got a drought going on. Hadn't been much rain lately, so I just carved this uh, summertime blues. Got the hot sun here, and I uh, allowed this piece to dry overnight. Then I signed the back and dated it. It's always good to uh, sign and date your leather craft items. And what I'd like to do is just see how this uh, um, black rock leather enrich in the four ounce bottle, how it um, um, treats this natural um, saddle skirting. So um, what I'm going to do, just it doesn't hurt to get it on your skin. Just kind of rub it on like that. And then I've got a piece of sheepskin here that I'll uh, rub that in a little better with. For leather items that you want to keep uh, natural and kind of light colored, this really works good. Being a coffee coaster, you may want to put a protective finish on that. And uh, that can be done easily. After this sets up probably about a half a day, you can buff it off and put a uh, finish uh, protective coat on here. Or this possibly would be good solo, just this right here if you want to just leave the natural finish on it. I like natural leather myself. That really <laughs> leather enriched that. That's really pretty. And the older this gets, the more the daylight and sun hits it, the richer and more beautiful that piece of leather will become. That's just a little leather craft update and tip for you. I think you'll like leather and rich. It's a good product.